What is going on? Bears, bears, bears. This is Grizzly Country. The National Park has just opened up for the first time after being closed for two months due to COVID-19 yesterday at noon and it's early in the morning it's eight something in the morning right now and we're driving to yellowstone and we're going to be doing some hikes and our goal is wildlife here so we just saw three bears we are on our way to yellowstone right now totally did not expect it we saw two cubs and a mama bear and the mama bear was definitely protective um because one of the other bears had crossed the road and so it was like us in between two of her cubs. Yeah. We just saw two bears, baby bears. Oh, there's the mama. It's the mama. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Wait, is that a grizzly? because her other baby's on the other side. What's funny about this is we've done so much hiking in our lifetime in bear country and we're just on a drive on a back road and this is where we see three bears. So the only other time we saw a bear was in Maine, we saw one black bear. This is a really good start to our Yellowstone Teton road trip, which is what we are doing right now, guys. We want to see bear, which we already hit. That was our yeah. number one item. Um, hopefully we see some more. And we wanted to see moose, moose. Yeah. and wolves. I mean, I want to see whatever I can, but those are like my top three. If I can see those, I'm going to be really happy. We will be going to the south entrance of Yellowstone because the other entrances are closed. This is their phase, first phase of their opening. So they're only opening the east and the south entrances. A bit of a roadblock, quite literally. Um, there's too much snow that we don't feel comfortable taking my brother in law's truck on to get to the south entrance. So we're going to take a long way around. We are in Teton National Park because we had a loop around the long way. We ended up having to come through the Tetons before we head to the south entrance of Yellowstone, and we had this gorgeous view. Yellowstone is the American version of a safari, and if you can see behind me, that is why. And there are some babies, I'll show you. We just went to this waterfall back there. We overheard this person saying that the reason they're all waiting there is for this bear, this grizzly bear called Grizzly 399. She's a mama bear and she apparently has four cubs and she makes a daily appearance there. So I think we might have to check that out. Roadblock. Hello bison. Hello friends. Oh my goodness, we just see a bunch of big horses. Wow, look at this one climbing over here.
County. What's our mission today, this morning? Bears, bears, bears. We are in our second day. Yesterday was more of a half day in Yellowstone. And we are gonna be doing part of the Mary's Mountain hike in Hayden Valley. This hike, we may be completely crazy because everywhere we read online, they say they do not recommend people do it during the springtime because of grizzly activity. And actually always they will warn you about grizzly activity. So we may be complete morons and this will be documented evidence that we are complete morons. <laughs> oh, natural selection. Bear spray. Bear spray. So I know how to do now. I've been practicing. I know how to get it out quick, remove the safety. Please don't spray. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be um, prepared. But our mission really has been to see a grizzly. So we decided if they give warnings for you not to do this hike because of grizzly activity, it's probably the hike for us to do. So here's hoping we see a grizzly, but don't get eaten by a mama grizzly. the morning so this should be prime bear activity look at this footprint we found this just within like a few feet of the trail that's my hand when i was researching the mary mountain trailhead i was reading something about some rangers that when they pass by this trailhead they start to you know hear or think about the jaws theme song the didn't There was this famous photograph taken here, aerial shot of 19 bears all in one area. Grizzly bears. Grizzly bears. And the guy who took the picture said that there were still four more bears that he just couldn't get in the frame. It's confirmed it's a bear. No, it's a bison. <laughs> Feels so nice to be out in nature. There's been no bear sighting so far, but oh my goodness, I feel like I'm in my happy place. These are bison or bears. It appears that they're all bison. Just spotted some alka bed. I just sunk above knee deep into mud. I honestly thought it was like the quicksand kind of mud because I felt like I just kept going. We'll take a look at this. Show me the Yeah. Do you see how jiggly that is? It's like <laughs> jello right here. What is going on with this terrain? Maybe you shouldn't do that, honey. We literally are the only humans who have been on this hike this for the last two months, I think. I feel like we're on hot terrain. I feel like my feet are getting warm. Is yours getting warm? Uh, it's not cold. I am pretty sure that we have reached the end of our hike today because all we have now is just one big river and there's not really a way around it as far as we can tell. So we're gonna turn around. This river is about 3.7 miles into the hike. Uh, and we also saw over just over there, a bunch of like volcanic activity going on. Like there's these little holes in the rock and little bubbly 
spots inside of these little shallow pools. I can't believe you didn't see a bear. It's and if this crazy. is, we were told that you would pretty much die from a bear attack if you went on this hike. So, you know, and we didn't even see one. We just saw a bunch of footprints. With the turn of rice and pan. So we have discovered a new least favorite terrain. Oh, Finished the Merry Mountain hike and we didn't see a bear, unfortunately. I'm so convinced we were gonna see one. I think it's a bear. It's a bear. So that was amazing. We, it's kind of a weird situation. So we went to the hike where you're most likely to see a bear and we saw nothing except for a few bear tracks. But then just on our drive back, we see all these cars parked here. And sure enough, there's a grizzly bear just way off in the distance, probably 300, maybe 400 meters away. I, I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. I've been wanting to see one of these in the wild for so long and we finally got the chance and I, I don't know how many pictures I took, but it's too many. Either way, how excited are you, honey? Bears are my favorite animal, well, wild animal. So I'm very happy that we got to see four now in the wild. This might or may or may not be smart. We're now chasing after the grizzly. <laughs> It came back after we got in the car. Where is it? It could be anywhere. Goodbye, <laughs> Yellowstone. Can't crown for the night. We are now in the Teton National Park area and we are at this wild campground, which wild camping is not like backcountry camping, like backpacking camp camping which we're more familiar with it's more like car camping but it's an, an, on a non-established campground meaning that there's no like bathroom facilities those sorts of amenities which actually seems perfect during the COVID-19 times trying to avoid shared facilities but this just happens to come with an amazing view of the Tetons we have a little campfire we've started we've gathered some wood in the forest some dead wood we're gonna be having that with that view, which I'm excited. Our little tent's over here. We borrowed my brother-in-law's tent. And so we've only ever owned backpacking tents. So they're small, ultra lightweight, two-person tents. And so this one is like a four-person tent and it just feels huge. And we even put an air mattress in it, which we have never used together camping ever because we always just backpack. So this should be very comfortable, luxurious campground tonight, and it's all free. Fellow vegetarians out there, if you have not discovered dandies, I don't know if it's only in the US, but they are gelatin free marshmallows, and they're good. It's hailing right now. <laughs> I'm trying to roast my marshmallow. I think this is gonna be cut short. We're also attempting to cook a can of beans in the fire because we forgot the stove. 